Hello guys, hello, hello, good morning. So today, December 14, Monday, uh, if you couldn't be with us in the morning in the class, right? So here is the video where I show you the um, activities we did during the class, right? So um, take a look at this, right? And please, let's continue here. And today, guys, we started with vocabulary. So I would like you to go to the vocabulary section. And we started working on pages 51 and 54, right? So let's go here to 51 and 54. And what is it? The vocabulary. So we have these activities. Look at this. Uh, lesson number four, right? So we have 18 new words, right? So pay attention to this. You are going to listen the audio. Listen and repeat, right? So you are going to repeat the pronunciation. Lesson, lesson four. four. The words you will hear are not necessarily in the same order as the ones in the book. Watch out for the missing word. Seemingly. Seemingly. Stubby. Stubby. Waddle. Waddle. Shrinking. Shrinking. Armor. Armor. Platypus. Platypus. Harmless. Harmless. Predators. Predators. Wombat. Wombat. Weirdest. Weirdest. Spiny. Spiny. Anteater. Anteater. Cuddly. Cuddly. Wildest. Wildest. Biologically. Biologically. Echidna. Echidna. Shuffles. Shuffles. And there you have the audio, guys. I hope you have um, listen and repeat, right? So please do it. And then, guys, we have the page number 52. Here we work with these five questions. So listen to the word list again and practice your pronunciation, right? So if you need, please listen again. And we have five questions. It says question number one. Which words start with the W sound as in wet? Start with W, like wet. Which words have the long I sound as in pile, right? El sonido largo de la I, así como en esta palabra suena pile, donde suene I. Which words have more than two syllables? Entonces, ¿cuáles son los que tienen más de dos sílabas? Number four, which words end in a long E sound? Entonces, ¿qué palabras terminan con el sonido largo de la E? Así, E. And number five, which word rhymes with Farmer, right? So you're going to tell me this. Then we had dictation, right? 
So in this dictation, you are going to listen the audio. Así es que te pido que regreses el video donde está el audio de las palabras y apuntes cómo los dice el audio. And then to finish, we finish with this page, number 54. You need to choose the correct, the word that is spelled correctly. I'm sorry. Entonces vas a elegir la palabra que está escrita correctamente entre A, B o C. ¿Cuál de esas tres está correcta? ¿Cuál de esas tres? Right? So you are going to select. And this is what we did here in the, in the class, right? So then we went to language or grammar, right? It is the same thing. So it was 90 and 91, right? So let's go to grammar pages 90 and 91. Let's go there and let me, yes. Go to the menu, please, language, mm -hmm. okay, we are almost there, yes sir, now we are. It was page 90 and 91, remember. 90 and 91. And it was like, here, conjunctions, and, but, or, jet, and so. Right, so we have here these conjunctions. And what is a conjunction? So it's a word that is used to link two clauses or two sentences. Para unir dos mm, cláusulas o dos oraciones, right? Entonces son estas, and, but, or, yet, and so. Entonces, ¿qué significa and? Pues, y, but, used to contrast two ideas, or, used to give two options, yet, used to describe an event that happens in spite of another, and used to show a consequence of something, right? So, like, and, and, used to link something that is similar or the same without contrast, right? So we have here some examples. Entonces, eso en español sería y, pero, el but es pero, or, sería cuando tienes dos opciones, o, por ejemplo, decir, quieres pizza o hamburguesa, right? Este es el o. Eh, yet, aún así, no, este significa aún así, eh, yo corrí rápido, aún así no gané, no, eso es lo que dice, que es, describe un evento que sucedió gracias a otro. Yo corrí rápido, aún así no gané. Eh, so, eso significa mostrar consecuencia de algo, ¿no? Entonces, yo estaba cansado, así que me dormí, ¿no? Entonces, el so significa así que. Algunas veces también lo toman como entonces, right So, entonces, right Pero en este caso, cuando lo usas para decir una consecuencia de algo, es así que. O también decimos entonces, yes. Read the sentences in circle the conjunctions. Aquí, ¿qué es lo que hicieron tus compañeros? Encerraron las conjunciones que hay en las oraciones y decidieron si estaban correctas o no, dependiendo al contexto en el que están, ¿no? Tú léelo, ponte atención y ponle aquí si son correctas o no. Te puedo dar una pista. Hay dos que son correctas. Dos de las cinco son correctas. Pero tú ve, léelo y pon atención. Now, write the conjunction that is being described below. Ahora aquí esas son descripciones y escribes qué conjunción es la que describen, ¿no? Y esto quedó de tarea para el día de mañana. Lo vamos a revisar aquí en clase, right? So, please, do this for homework. And then, well, we finish the day. Thank you very much for coming to this, um, for coming and watch the video, right? Thank you very much. Have a great evening and I will see you tomorrow, right? I hope. Bye-bye.